Today's video, I got another Canelo Alvarez drill for you guys that he does on the water bag. And I got my little champ, 13 year old Renil Islamov, to practice it, to show you guys and demonstrate it. And what he's gonna do, what we're talking about here today is we're talking about how Canelo does the one of the drills that's on YouTube, what he's doing when he's hitting this water bag, I wanna break it down. What he's doing is he's setting up the overhand right, and he's also setting up the left hook to the body with the same kind of feint, with the same kind of level drop. He's dropping levels. So what he's doing with that is, what he's gonna do with this move is he's, we're gonna go real slow. What he's doing first is he, he's in his stance, okay? Left shoulder's higher than the right shoulder. Like I always talk about, go get my instructional videos. I go over the foundation that Canelo Alvarez has. No matter what you see, some of the things he does, he uses a lot of positions that he puts himself in as bait, but his foundation is exactly what I teach in my instructional videos. And once you learn that foundation, everything else comes into play and you're able to make all the other things great. That's the cake, this is the icing, but you have to learn the cake first, okay? So what we're talking about, you gotta bake the cake first, I should say, before you put the icing on it, right? So anyways, what we're doing here is he is going to set up an overhand right with a level change and also going to set up the left hook. And what he's doing is he's really playing with your mind because he's, he's throwing the, fir the first time what he does is he drops his level and it looks like he's going to maybe faint to the body like with a jab. So the guy's looking down and he throws an overhand right, left hook to the body. Okay, so then the next time what he does is he does the same level drop and he throws a left hook to the head. Okay. So what he's doing there is he's really playing games with you because what he's doing the first time is when he faints down like that and he throws an overhand right, it's going, he's, he's going on the right side of your head, on the right side of your head, he's going on with the right hand and he's coming back with a left hook to the body. So the next time what he does is you got all kinds of signals going on there when he drops down the next time. You're thinking maybe the overhand right's coming down, coming over the top again. You just got hit with a left hook to the body. So you're thinking right side and you're thinking low. You're not thinking left hook to the head because you're thinking you just got hit consciously. You just got hit and subconsciously your mind is playing tricks on you because you're saying to yourself, not tricks, but you're, you're, he's getting your attention to the right side of your body and the left side of your body underneath. So the last thing that you're going to think is coming is a left hook to the head. See? So that's what he does. He goes, he's the first one, he goes overhand right, left hook to the body. That's it. The next one, he's going to do the same level drop and then throw a left hook to the head. Okay? It's one of the, like Roy Jones, the great Roy Jones, throws that left hook to the body. He'll throw the jab to the body, throw the jab to the head, jab to the body, and then he fakes like he's going to go to the body and throws that. He'll throw his gazelle left hook a lot of times. He'll just throw the left hook even in that position by making you think that he's going to go downstairs. Okay? So what Canelo's working is he works it repetitiously like this where he keeps on drilling it over and over and over again. So this is what he does, so he perfects it, okay? And then when he's in the fight, he can make it happen. I'll sh I'm gonna let Sniper demonstrate for you in a little faster motion what he's doing. He's changing his levels there. That's it, he drops. That's it, he drops, and now the left hook, right. That's it. go. There's the level drop, overhand right, left hook to the body. Now the next time, it's a left hook, right. Okay, now what he's doing when he drops that level is if you watch some of my, my other video about knee bend, he's not stressing his quads and his knees by strength down and with a straight back. All he's doing is hip hinging and pushing his butt back when he changed that level. He just goes here and he just pushes his butt back, boom. He's just going here like this, see, this way. Not like this with a straight back and putting all this stress on his quads and then you, you, don't got no tw you can't twist your hip flexors when you're like that. What he's doing, he can't, you, you're gonna lose all mobility in your hip flexors to be able to punch with your hips with power and that's where the power is coming from, okay? So just show him again. That's it, that's it. Fast motion, dig it hard, now, let's go. That's it. It. He 
you see that little level change that he throws there, that little level change makes the guy think he's going down. See, boom, he just sat. So he's in his stance, and then what he does, get your stance, and then he just pushes his butt back and drops. That's it. Now he's putting all that weight into his hips, not his quads, his hips. Now he's able to got all that leverage to throw into that right hook. That's it. And then throw that left hook to the body. Okay, awesome. Okay, do it again. Let's give him one more last demonstration on that. He's dropping. That's it. Beautiful. So he's, that's a real little subtle move, okay? But you're getting the guy's eyes to think he's, you're going down. And when you hit with overhand right, then you're also thinking over the top, the overhand right's coming. So the next time when he dropped down, he come with a left hook. So he came with a totally different, he came with a totally different punch, okay? Guy got hit with a right hook to the uh, overhand right and the left hook to the body. The next punch is the left hook to the head. Just keeps mixing it up, okay? With that level change. The reason he's throwing a left hook to the body, also mechanically, the reason he's throwing that overhand right, when he throws that overhand right, when you throw an overhand right, it, it puts you in position to throw the left hook to the body because you're throwing it over. And I cover this again in my instructional video. I got my heavy bag video out, how to punch with maximum power and footwork when punching the heavy bag. So guys, check that instructional video out. That's a great video. Goes over the body mechanics. When he's throwing that overhand right, He's dropping, I'm giving you a little taste of, of some things here. When he drops, he's dropping that left shoulder, so he's already in position to deliver that left hook to the body. So the overhand right, the left shoulder's higher than the right shoulder. When he throws the overhand right, now the left shoulder's a little lower, so he's right in position to throw that hook to the body. So the body mechanics are so important, and I cover that in my instructional videos, both of them that I have. So make sure you guys go to the website worldclassboxinggym.com get on the email list so you guys are up to date with the things that I have coming out go to my Instagram page and follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Keller Boxing I have a lot of boxing related material on there you guys get to see my gym I post on there uh, other stuff that's not on the channel so make sure you guys do that and don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment below and I'll see you guys next time